Subdivision surfaces, although not as easy to model as nerve surfaces, are very popular, particularly with animators, because you can create an entire character from one piece of mesh, and then it's very easy to deform and animate uh, with uh, traditional animation tools. Um, True Space provides pretty comprehensive subdivision surface tool, so we can start with the regular polyhedra. We will start with the cube and with our editing tools. We sweep a couple of faces. And simply by invoking the surface subdivision tool, we immediately see the, the, the rounded representation of the object. We can set up the subdivision level from 1 to up to 5. And as you see, at, the, at level 4, you get a very detailed mesh. And in fact, if you turn off the, the, the polygon outline uh, like that, and also if we bring up the materials, because this is a faceted material, which we can change for a smooth material, and we've assigned the, the, to our object, you can see that we have a pretty nice, almost hardly any artifacts, even in the level two. And the level three is then already pretty good. So <clears throat> subdivision surfaces allow us to create a very nice organic shape while preserving the ease of use and familiarity of uh, single point editing, uh, polyhedral type editing. Uh, even with the polyhedral cage on, uh, the, the subdivision surface representation is, gets preserved and in fact being transparent it will give you a very nice uh, uh, feedback for the design work and again the two-dimensional and, and three-dimensional um, navigation widgets allow for very elegant and, and intuitive feedback. So let's sweep another polygon uh, with this uh, navigation control we can make it move it in a two-dimensional uh, a coordinate mesh which we already have created or we can sweep it like before to add more detail or bumps or, or protrusions from the surface of the object. Um, the, the control is, is pretty obvious. Uh, we can do this for a while and um, manipulate the edges uh, every which way to create the shape we desire and eventually then we can output the mesh uh, in a polyhedral form uh, or we can keep it in a subdivision surface form because the, the keyframe animator of TrueSpace would, uh, would maintain it as well. So let's bring in some other uh, you know, polygonal cages which are very amenable to sub surface subdivision. And uh, the cap looks a lot better around it than, than with the polygonal edges. And in fact, we can create a little handle on the cap. And uh, you can see that uh, that control of the polygonal mesh, it makes it very, very obvious. Um, this Australopithecus scully over here, uh, which seems to be exhibiting pretty low level of IQ, can be also very easily improved with uh, selecting the frontal lobe polygons, sweeping them boldly upwards, and increase the language region, uh, have a little bit more room for the gray, gray matter. It is easy to create a sharp creases uh, in true space because the subdivision surface tool allows you to change the, the attraction or the gravity in which each vertex pulls the mesh uh, to a, a, a very sharp value and you can do that on per vertex uh, base as well. The benefits of subdivision surfaces are really uh, based on the fact that you can create organic type of sh surfaces like NURBS and still have the polygonal type of controls. You can have much more impressive animations starting with polygonal kind of a character and simply turning on the subdivision surface tool, you can impress your friends with creating much smoother character.